morning YouTube. It's me, it's me, it's favourite today. Just on the way to work again. Uh, sorry about this, these vlog. Just, um, I had two things in mind and then, I don't know, like I didn't list anything yesterday. And you just have one of those days where you're just not particularly motivated and you're just going through the motions. <coughs> I felt like that. Um, Friday, thank God. Just got to get today over and done with. I'm look, really looking forward to this weekend. After literally Monday I was in, Monday I woke up in Menorca. And I'm on Friday and I'm going to work. Um, same, that was, that was pretty shit. Lining up in the airport and going, this time tomorrow I'm going to be at work. Um, anyway. Yeah. This weekend, I think I'm going up to town. There might be a break on the vlogs. Um, it's depending on whether I can get my um, my phone working. Um, I might be getting an upgrade on my phone over the weekend. And I don't know what that's going to involve when it comes to uh, this bad boy, because I might be getting rid of it. So, um, yeah, I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to see if I can still use this maybe as a camera and um, not just still have the internet on it, still have my YouTube on it and then have my other phone as an actual phone. I might give it a go. Um, so, because I'm going to town tomorrow, we're going to the charity shops. Um, depending on money, money because spend most of my money all the way. Um, I might be going to the car but on Sunday. It just depends how much money I've got left. So I had a couple of high high price things um, between when I left work yesterday and today. High price things in my range. Um, so that should boost up my money a bit but we'll see. Other than that no, not a lot going on. I've got a wrestling hall that's on its way. I'm hoping it arrives today. Please let it arrive today. Another 50 wrestling figures. Um, and then I've got two wrestling halls that I'm chasing on Spock at the minute. It just means going to pick them up, but we'll see. Anyway, um, hopefully, all interruptions pending. I'll show you my profit for the end of May. I'll see you in a bit. Well, YouTube, uh, sorry, I didn't do the profits again. People staying behind work, and I just die a lot of people. So. Talk to them, can't help it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, I mentioned yesterday about um, a WWE haul that I bid on, got to be about two, three months ago, something like that. I was on there for 80 quid. I offered 50, the woman was like, no, I'm going to stick her on my knee because I've got a collector's interest in all this. Well, she lowered the money, I think I mentioned this on yesterday's vlog, uh, she lowered the money down to 60, and I offered her 50, and she's accepted it. Who wins? Steve wins. So, um, yeah, got 50 quid, collected on Sunday, it's got a big two rings, about 10 wrestlers, and a couple of belts, I think. Um, for 50 quid, it's a bit of a bargain. So yeah, um, doing pretty well on the eBay sales. So I've five things, it's only the second, which is sweet. So I'm going to show you my WWE haul now. What up YouTube? As I said earlier, or just, depending on your uh, perspective. Um, let me advertise my much dogs. Uh, just going through my wrestling haul that I got earlier on today. This isn't the one I got off Spock. Um, I might confuse people earlier. It was just there was a woman walking up as I was filming. I need to cut it pretty short. Um, these are uh, a bundle that I got earlier on this week for 50 quid. It was 50 wrestlers for 50 quid. So um, Yeah, looking alright at the minute. I'm just going through pricing them up. Show you some of them. Um, 
I've got this guy. I actually advertised this guy on the um, UK reselling group before I left, um, saying that look out for these Goldberg figures because uh, he'd just come back to WWE. Oh yeah, uh, disclaimer. Remember, my kids are tramps. Sorry about the floor. Um, yeah, I said look out for these figures, Goldberg figures, because he'd just come back to WWE this year. Uh, this has sold for about 15 quid. This one's pretty beat up, so I'm going to shoot for 12. Um, I haven't priced them all up yet. Uh, these two are just definite ones I'm going for. Um, these two, and you get a lot of this guy, Rey Mysterio. Uh, there's a lot of different versions of him. But these two together, I'm not sure if they're a pack or something like that, I've sold for 14.99. No, 13.99, sorry. So... And aim for thirteen ninety nine for them too because they're in pretty good shape. Um, you got these two old, these old school ones. I've got quite a few of these where they have got rubber legs. Uh, they're from ninety eight. Um, I've got quite a few of them, like a Vince McMahon here. Is but if you look at his face, I think he's a nose bit off. But it's kind, of, it's like got a Vince McMahon signature on there. Which, to be fair, I've put that in the three pound pile. I need to look at that, seeing as it's got a signature. Um, yeah, these are the ones that I'm going to try and sell singly. And um, that's a rare Y2J one, Mr. McMahon. Um, I've started collecting these belts now because I'm going to get quite a few belts the weekend. Um, I've also got one already. Uh, these are going to go for seven. Oh, sorry, I'm not even looking. Sorry. <laughs> These are going to go for seven individually. Um, I don't know if people know, but it's a pretty sore subject, but this guy... How do I put this? This guy murdered his wife and kid. <laughs> um, so, WWE kind of completely shut all images and history of him to do with him in WWE, understandably, but I've got two figures of him. Uh, they don't go for much, but they go more for your standard. His name's Chris Benoit. Um, yeah, for real. He kind of, after the concussions through the years, <laughs> there's no excuse, but um, after concussions through the years, he, I don't know, snapped a bit, I think. But, yeah. He's a rare figure, but rare for the wrong reasons. Uh, let's have a look. Have a look over here. Oh, sorry about my naked legs, if you see anything. Oh, these ones. Now, these are the ones I used to collect as a kid. Uh, the, the old Asbro ones. That's one of my kids falling out of bed. Got Hulk Hogan. Got another Hulk Hogan here, which is a WCW one. Some people are going kind of WCW. What the hell's that mean? Got a load of Triple H ones. And all... Oh, no. I'm going to search this one next, because this is an RVD from 1999. Now, if you are a wrestling buff, which I am, not a wrestling puff, but wrestling buff, can I say puff anymore? I don't know. Um, it's got RVD from 1999. Now, in 1999, this guy was part of a completely different company, um, and you... They did bloke special appearances for WWE. Um, so it's a bit weird that he's got a figure out in 1999. So hopefully this guy might be a little bit worth a bit of money. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh what well, one of the kids up? Oops, and daisy. Um, so I'll leave it there. Because I've got one of the kids up. So I'll see you later. What up, YouTube? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, what up, YouTube? Um... Yeah, we went through the wrestling figures. Um, probably say it was better than the last wrestling figure haul I've got. Got a few ones that can go for about um, now between ten and fifteen pound. So that's cool. Um, tomorrow and about Lacey's back at dance class. I'm back again, full English. Oh, yes. And um, gonna get to the charity shops. Um, car boots a bit up in the air on Sunday. Don't know what to do. I feel like I can't go to the car boot until I get a grand trolley. 
Um, what was happening in the car boots last year was it was literally as much as I could fill in my hand and my backpack and then um, no, because I don't drive and then I had to get the taxi as soon as my hands are full um, what else? Oh, I want to move to Menorca I really do thinking is you know you only live once no I don't know maybe it's I'm just too used to Wolverhampton but Wolverhampton depresses the shit out of me I think it's seen the same shit every day anyway I'm going to bed I've just watched the um Debate between, um, well, not debate because, um, May won't do a debate. Uh, the question time between Corbyn and, and May. Um, I'm gonna be voting Corbyn, I'll be honest. I think he seems the most honest and straightforward out of the two of them. I don't normally vote, um, but I don't know, I like Corbyn. I know a lot of people want to bad mouth him and stuff like that, but I think he's the most honest and upfront politician that I've known for years. I know people disagree, but he's the most straightforward out of all of them. Um, May is just your basic politician where she's just full of shit. That one on Corbyn's got, he's full of shit on some point, but, no, actually, I can't name, I can't name one question that he dodges, he answers it straight and how he feels, so, so I think I'm going to go Corbyn for the election, but I'm going to bed, I'm tired, I'll see you tomorrow, I'm going to charity shops, <sighs> Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful. I'm gonna have to reach now.